I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of trigonometric and exponential functions. The question here is, the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 12 centimeters in length. Calculate the measure of the unknown angle in the triangle that will maximize its perimeter. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, perimeter is sum of sides, so we can write perimeter P as equal to 12 plus X plus Y. We could write both X and Y in terms of theta, so we can write perimeter as equals to 12 plus. Now, that is the adjacent side, so and which has to be smaller than a hypotenuse. It becomes 12 cos of theta plus Y will be equals to 12 sine of theta, right? So we'll replace that by 12 sine theta. To maximize the perimeter, we'll find the derivative with respect to theta, that is dp d theta is equal to derivative of constant in zero plus 12 cos theta derivative is minus 12 sine theta. And the derivative for plus 12 sine theta is 12 cos theta, correct? For critical number, we have to equate this derivative to zero. So let's find the critical number first. So that means zero is equal to, we have minus 12 sine theta plus 12 cosine theta. Bringing terms to the left, canceling 12, we get sine theta equals to cosine theta. Dividing, we get sine theta divided by cos theta equals to 1, which is tan theta equals to 1. And from here, you can get theta as tan inverse of 1, which is pi by 4, right? So you get pi by 4 as the option. Now, whether it really gives you a maximum or a minimum, you can test it out by finding the second derivative of the given function, right? So let's find the second derivative, d2p d theta square equals to. So when you do second derivative, we are using this particular equation. negative 12 cosine theta, right? And cos theta derivative is negative. We get negative 12 sine theta. Now, in this case, uh, if I take negative 12 common, I'm left with cos theta plus sine theta as the result. For pi by 4, if I substitute pi by 4 here, what do I get? So if I substitute pi by 4, which is cos pi by 4 plus sine pi by 4, which is 1 over square root 2, I do get an answer which is less than 0. Since it is negative, is it okay? So less than 0 means that the graph of the function is concave down, correct? So second derivative less than 0 for a critical number means that we do have maximum perimeter. At theta equals to pi by four, right? Since the second derivative is negative, correct? Okay? So I hope the solution is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.